All the same, Adolf, you can write it off. British Movie Turn News presents the first authentic film of the scene at Munich where the apparent attempt on Hitler's life was a recent worldwide sensation. Germany mourns the victims of the explosion. But let us first take a look at the wrecked beer hall which Hitler and the Nazi chiefs had left only about a quarter of an hour before the bomb went off. The explosive had evidently been concealed in the room above, exactly over the spot where Hitler, in fact, stood. That it was a good sound bomb is proved by these pictures of what was once the notorious beer hall. Whether or not it was really intended that this wreckage of ceiling and girders should fall upon the German leader is not yet known. However, the circumstances and the explanations following the explosion are highly reminiscent of the Reichstag fire, and it may well be that the whole thing was engineered by the Nazi chiefs, even Hitler himself. In any case, as you can see, the job was well done, whatever the intended result. This remarkable film, which has reached us from Germany, even shows pieces of the bomb itself, a few fragments collected from the debris. The Gestapo have naturally drawn wonderful conclusions from these bits of metal. Hitler's deputy, nominated as his successor, Rudolf Hess, heads the well-staged public tribute. Stryker is there too. But those who lost their lives when the ceiling came crashing down lie here in their coffins. Hitler arrives to play his part. This is one of the rare film shots of the Führer taken since the war began and shown in Britain. Is he here sincerely honoring the dead, these Germans who lost their lives when it was his that was at stake? Or is he merely play acting as he places the wreaths? Does he well know that these dead, like so many more, have been wantonly sacrificed on the detestable altar of Nazism. Hitler solemnly greets the bereaved. Does he truly sympathize or has he deliberately widowed this woman? 